Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ARQL. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here, here representing one day's worth of price action, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame and does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping outward levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today, not only from the price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on the day. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's map out some areas of support and then we can talk areas of resistance. Now, the one thing that caught me off guard is I didn't look at this one during the final 30 minutes at all. So when I was looking at it, I'll put this into context. The chart was basically looking like this, so I'm kind of already starting to formulate what I'm gonna talk about. I'll look at that nice solid area of support right there. You know, you got the nice uh, you know, upwards move, so kind of looking like a bull pennant pattern. And then all of a sudden I pulled up in the last 30 minutes, volume came surging in, and the price you know, pulled this maneuver. Now, does that mean the entire chart's ruined? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that final 30 minutes changes the dynamics of the chart quite a bit. Again, is it ruined? Nope, but I mean, it, it doesn't quite look nearly as good as what it could had the price been able to stay above that area. So the first level to keep an eye on is gonna be that former breakout area right there around $8.30. And it's kind of almost a double whammy, if you will, of supports. What do I mean by double whammy? Well, the first whammy right here, $6, I, I might've said $8.30. I meant $6.30. My, uh, my eye appointment is scheduled for tomorrow. But 6.30 is gonna be that initial level. And then you also have the second whammy right here, that purple line, the 50 period moving average. So that level's not quite there, but keyword being moving. So as Thursday plays out, that line is gonna move itself higher and higher. So the point here being there's, you know, ideally you're gonna have a big area of price congestion that will help provide some support for that. However, if, if the price you know, continues on down and then just breaks through both those areas, at that point, again, I'm not gonna go as far as saying the entire chart is destroyed, but that would be kind of a red flag that maybe something's just not quite right anymore uh, because you know it really you would want to see the price hold above you know those areas of sport. Now, if the price were to come all the way down here to that pink line and then crash below there, at that point something's definitely wrong because that is the 200 period moving average. And even if you have a very basic understanding of charts, I'm sure you're well aware that that is definitely a very famous area um, that you want to see the price stay above. As far as areas of resistance are concerned, just keep an eye on that overall trend line right there. But as of right now given the, the final 30 minutes, top priority, in my opinion, is not necessarily breaking levels of resistance, more so making sure that this downwards move doesn't spin out of control or anything like that. So we'll see how this one plays out on Thursday. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.